Hi friends, I'm Mark Govan with ABC Tropical Plant Nursery and host of Florida Gardening on 970 WFLA.com on Sundays from 7 a.m. until 10 a.m. every Sunday morning. Hey, sometimes it's necessary to cut plumerias. Today we're going to find out how to properly cut plumerias. Well, when you have a large tree, sometimes the plumeria kind of gets out of bounds, just like the plumeria I have right above my head here. Now, if, when you have crisscrossing branches or branches that look maybe diseased, it's time to cut those out of the way. And what's good about cutting back on plumerias is the fact that you can use those plumeria cuttings to start new plants with. Today, the only tool that you're going to need is a good pair of pruning shears, and you can use those pruning shears to make nice straight cuts on your plumerias. Whenever I make a cut on my plumeria, I try to make the cut near a, a nice branch and I make clean cuts with the pruning shears and I always make sure my cuts are on an angle towards the ground so that when the cut area heals, it does not allow water to sit and rot your plumeria. So today, let's find a couple of good places where we're gonna go ahead and cut a couple of branches off. I've got a nice diseased branch right above my head here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off right now with my pruning shears. Okay, we're gonna cut this branch off right here right next to the stem with a straight up and down cut. As you see, this particular branch was diseased and is cracked in here, so it's a good one to remove from your tree. And I see a couple of branches that are overhanging over here too. And we're gonna take another nice cut on, on an angle, straight, almost straight up and down. Remember, we don't want water to sit in the wound. So we're gonna make our cut just about straight up and down. And here we go. After we've made our cutting, you want to always remove the leaves from the cutting. So we're going to just peel the leaves back and remove the leaves. They come off very easily. And we're just going to pull them right on off the tree just like this. Next, we're going to take our pruning shears and cut these cuttings into sizes that we can go ahead and root off the plant. So. I like to get cuttings at least 8 to 10 inches in size, and I can see a few of these tip cuttings here will be perfect on that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cut these. I'm going to make my first cut right here, then I'm going to make another cut, and another cut. All the rest of those cuttings we're going to be able to start new plants from. I'm Mark Govan with ABC Tropical Plant Nursery, and this is the proper way to prune your plants.